Hi everyone, Cody here from the Protocase team and today we're going to talk about internal bends. Here at Protocase we can do all kinds of different bends in order to create the custom part or enclosure that you need. Those bends include edge flanges, jog bends, step bends, hem bends, and material offset bends. But the one I want to talk to you about today is called an internal bend. An internal bend is a bend that is placed in the inside of a part that is surrounded by material. These internal flanges are typically bent out of the middle as opposed to an edge flange which is pulled off the edge of the part. Internal bends are a little trickier for us to do because we have to section the upper and bottom toolings of our bending machine to line them up just right with the internal edge flange. Since the tooling is sectioned, when they come together they only bend what the tooling lands on. The rest of the part is not affected. So one common issue that we see when it comes to internal flanges is the opening for the flange is not large enough to fit the bottom tool of our bending machine. When the material is pressed into the bottom die, the part will turn into the die, flipping up 45 degrees for a 90 degree bend. In doing so, the opening will rotate about the bottom die. If the opening is not big enough to accommodate this bottom die, it's going to crash into the machine and ruin the part. So how do we avoid this? When you're submitting your parts and enclosures to be manufactured, our engineering and design services team can double check your design for you. We have models of all of our bending tools so we can quickly insert your part into a 3D environment to check if there will be a collision. We've included some links below to other Prototech tips about our sheet metal bending capabilities. Check them out and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks very much for watching this week's Prototech Tip. I'll see you guys next week for another one.